Good afternoon, students. How are you doing today? Good day, sir. Good day, Good day, Good day sir. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day. On the road, though. Okay. What about the rest of you? Fine, sir. Okay. Yeah, doing pretty good today. Nice. So there are 22 of you and six of you answered. Good day, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Afternoon, everyone. Afternoon to you. Good afternoon, sir. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you, sir. All right, so I'm here from the start of the class and I sat patiently and I watched all my students enter the lecture room and everybody entered and see other students in the class and see the teacher in the class and nobody said good evening or good afternoon. Today's the first day, so I know it's not going to happen again because I'm going to be looking out for you guys. So as I begin this New relationship, we just need to make some ground rules. You enter your online room, you see your classmates, you see your class teacher, you say good afternoon, good evening, good morning, um, whatever it is, and um, then you can mute. But don't just come in and sit down and, um, you know, and not say anything. So I forgive you. Today's the first day. I know it won't happen again because I've spoken to you about it. Number one. Number two. My goodness, where are some of you, so much want to come from, man? Jeez, some these. Oh, I'm seeing that two students are here two times. Uh, uh, Amanda's here twice. And who else is here twice? Adrian, say this again. Someone else saying something just now? Oh, so I was asking you to repeat. I was asking you to repeat. Oh, okay. Um, no, I'm just saying that um I was asking where so, so many students come from. But um I was saying that I have X amount, but I recognize that some students are here twice. Well, not some. One student is here twice. But anyhow. That's fine, my my dog. It's 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 neither here nor there. I just want you to be you be ready for class. All right. So yes. Yes, sir. I think I'm here alone. Yeah, have from them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I wanted, you know, I talked to you after class. I wanted you to do something for me the other day, you know, but never mind. All right. So I'm Mr. Shand, um, your lecturer for the for the semester. And I will dare say, for those of you who will brave it, will be your lecturer for the year for both calculus one, calculus two. Uh I need to have a conversation with you guys. Um, today is really going to just be a lot of housekeeping. Um, and I want you to be very mindful of the things that I'm speaking about because the, I'm not going to be having the time to go through all these bits of information again. So I want to get everything out of the way. So as I go along, write your questions down. I will come back to you and ask you to ask me questions. Um, you know, it is your responsibility to make sure that the teacher is also on the same wavelength as you are. I will start out by saying respect is due. I first give you the respect and in return, I expect to get back that respect. In a violation of that, it means that you'll get an immediate, immediate um, block from the class and um, then we'll take the matter to the disciplinary committee. Um, I might say to you that I can't recall ever having an issue with my with students on a whole, and in particular my computing students, because I generally find that they are hardworking students. Now the mere fact that you guys are in my evening class suggests that you are no longer full-time students, 
and that most, if not all, of you are employed. Um, I'm a no-nonsense person when it comes down to my schoolwork. I'm happy that you're employed so you can pay the school fee. Um, but please do not use that as an excuse to tell me that you couldn't get to do my homework because you had a deadline to meet. Because if I have a deadline to meet, it means that I won't come to class to teach you. And then when I don't come to class to teach you, you're going to complain to say you're in class and you're waiting for class and Mr. Shan don't turn up. So we're going to get that out of the way right up front. Um, you're going to come to school. You're going to do your schoolwork. I don't want no excuses from you. Um, we are we are here in a business arrangement. You come to class, you turn up, you put on all six cylinders, and I always turn up and I put on 12 cylinders so that I can teach and teach very well. You can understand, you absorb the information, you're able to go into an examination and you can regurgitate the information with understanding. You pass the course, you move on to calculus two, do the same thing, move on with the other courses, do the same thing and get out of the college. I'm gonna earn some big money. All right. So the class starts at five o'clock on a Tuesday. I will always be here, God's willing, at five o'clock. Uh, because I know people work and people sometimes we work at five o'clock. I give them, you know, just I came in at five fifteen because I gave you a little bit of time, you know, maybe to go fresh jump at the bathroom and to jump into your car. I know some of you are in transit. Somebody said to me, Yes, sir, my day I'm on, but my day up on the road. You know, some of you are going to be in transit because you have a class at seven o'clock and you can't stay where you are now for class because it means that if you stay there, nine o'clock, we can catch you on the road for class. So you're going to be traveling during my class time. Dangerous because you're going to be missing out quite a bit of stuff because I am going to be teaching. Good thing about it, though, is that my classes are recorded. Um, being a smart teacher, I I have me a, uh, what do you call it now, a YouTube channel that I dump all my my recordings in. Been doing so for the last couple of years, maybe four or five years. I think I really started it actively in in COVID when um students are saying to me, sir, can you resend me this recording? No, I am not resending any recording. You go to a place to find your own recordings. So I will provide you with the address. So it is that you can find you the recordings for each session. Um, please to give me a couple of days to get the recordings up and running. Uh, sometimes the recordings don't come in immediately. It may come the day after. Um, and if there's any anomaly, it may come two days after, but the recordings do come to me. Um, when the recording comes, I may be unavailable to pause because I have to download it to upload it. And it may require a bit of time. So give me a few, you'll get your recordings. What I'll also say to you is that you have an opportunity to work ahead of me because when I give you access to my YouTube channel, you will recognize that you'll recognize that there are many other calculus one videos embedded. And what you can do is just go ahead and just watch those previous videos. You know, who to tell me have explained um, a concept better that year than I'm doing this year. And it's just an opportunity for you to to work ahead of me. And that's very important. Um, you guys are computing students. I sometime later may I may I may just ask you guys to help me out in a, a bit or two if you can direct me to a software that I can purchase so I can purge the housekeeping. So for example, I'm talking to you now with these housekeeping matters, but then I'm going to teach for the last hour of the session. I could you know purge out this information and then just post the the um the video so that at least you know you have a complete video, you know. To, to, to watch without any interruptions. But that is something that we can we can discuss a little later on. I will need your help. I don't do computing, I do math. Um I expect you guys, if you're not coming to class, you know, you send a message to say, boy, sir, um, whatever this is for, for whatever reason, I can't make it today because I'm sure if I'm not going to turn up for class, you guys will get a message from me. I I normally give students my number. I normally join a WhatsApp group. I'm going to answer you guys. Go ahead and form your own WhatsApp group. But it's something that I'm praying about. I had an experience with some students in the summer semester. 
And I made a pledge that I'm not going back into any more WhatsApp group with any student because some students can be very rude. Um, a student challenged me on a matter because I closed out the software. Um, and I can tell you what it is. School, summer school started from the 1st of June. For those of you who did summer school, can cooperate with my story. Summer school started the first, the first week of June. Um, Beryl came the 3rd of July. And for the whole month of June, every piece of assignment I gave was undone for 28 students in the class. 28. I had about 40-something students in the class. 28 of them did not do any work. And one student was rude enough to say to me that I must realize that Beryl came. Even though Beryl came a month after summer school started. You remember, you know, summer school started the first week of June. Let me just check when June started. June started the third of the third of June, Monday the third of June. And a Monday and a, and a month later, Beryl came. And the student who was challenging me, I recognized her WhatsApp name wasn't her full name. And I asked the student to identify herself. It was a female that was speaking to me. And I said, please identify yourself. And she failed to identify herself. And I said to the class, if it is that you can't um, put an indication of who it is that I'm speaking to in my WhatsApp, on my phone, I am going to leave the group. Because some of you students have hot girl this, British boy, king, king. And I don't know who those students are. And I left the group. And thereafter, there were conversations about me in the group. Really, I, not that I care. If you know me, well, you know that it don't mean a thing to me. Um, and I just thought to myself that students are very rude. And I'm not getting back into any more WhatsApp group with students. So I think... Or, means of communication is going to be um, via email. So I want you to create your WhatsApp group because you can have your own conversations in WhatsApp. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is, or I can go ahead and do it, or maybe you can do it, doesn't matter, um, to create an email group so that our official communication is going to be via email. When you do the email, I will see your first name as well as your last name. Because I don't have to ask anybody who is it that I'm speaking to. All right. Um, it's my personal phone. And when a student is going to be very rude and violate, um, you know, I just take away myself. Said nothing more to her. I took, took away myself. But the sweet part of the story is towards the end of the semester when the student did not complete the stuff and I was given an opportunity for them to complete the stuff, um, I was going through the register and I said, well, come on. The shortening on WhatsApp appears to be the shortening of her name. And when I called her out in class, the class was quiet. I said, you bugger you. You never know someone that catch you. Never know someone that I what it is, right? Um, and the class that I have this evening, I'm praying to God that the student is not in that class. Students, I say this to say to you, um, you know, manners and respect carry a far away. And we I don't hold students up for anything because it's one life. Um, you know, sometimes we burn the bridges behind us and we are the very ones who are going to come back and say, oh, sir, may I have a recommendation, please? Or you may ask for a recommendation and they say to you that, you know, we need to get something from the teachers. And I may very recall and I said, oh, no, um, that student was very rude. So I'm saying to you students, you know, I don't know where, 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 what happened. And at what point when students can be very disrespectful to teachers. Um, I'm not here to make any friends. I'm here to do our job. And I'm going to ask that we're going to create. We're going to create um, that. We're going to create that environment where it is that. We can. We can have. Sorry. Um, give me half a second, please. All right, so 
I really hope that we don't have any 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 disagreements and that we can have a fruitful relationship. Please do not play with calculus one. If you allow calculus one to run away from you, you are going to be lost. You are going to be frustrated and you're going to end up failing calculus one. If you fail calculus one, say goodbye to calculus two because the prerequisite for calculus two is calculus one. Let me say that again. If you quint for a minute, calculus one is going to run away and leave you. You're going to be having a challenge. You're going to frustrate yourself. You're going to frustrate me. You're going to fail a course. And you're not going to be able to do calculus two the following semester. It is also going to affect your completing a degree on time because it may not mean that you have to do your calculus one in your fourth year per semester. And once it is that you're successful, then you move into calculus two the second semester. It means that you're going to end up carrying more courses in your final year. So I'll ask that you be mindful, um, be purposeful with your work. I have taught this course before where everybody in the class passed it, passed the course. My last sitting um, of the, my, the, the last exposure of this course, um, I think there were only two students who failed outrightly and one student who got a D plus. So I'm expecting big things from you guys. Finally, before I ask you to ask me your questions, I teach five to seven tonight with you. And then I have a class, as I said earlier, from seven o'clock to nine o'clock. Now, going four straight hours is, is kind of rough on the body. So I'm gonna ask, um, I gave you 15 minutes at the start of the class. Um, I don't think going forward, I'll be able to give you 15 minutes at the start of the class because I'm gonna take that 15 minutes at the end of the class so that I can get myself ready for the start of the seven o'clock class. And this will also do you well so you can get a break before your seven o'clock class. All right, so we have, a, we have an agreement right there. Yes, sir, sure. All right, good, thanks. Yes, sir. All right, no problem. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity now to shoot your questions at me. I just have a, and I, oh, before you do that though, guys, um, I don't buy it. And um, I don't buy it. And if it is that you have a matter, um, however difficult it is for you to, however difficult it is for you to, to have a conversation with me, have the conversation, have the conversation. However difficult, talk to me. Just be respectful when you're saying it to me. And if I do something that you don't like, talk to me. Boy, so you know, say do this and I don't like it. I'm good, I'm grown, right? But do it with respect and we can have a conversation. If you feel that I said something to you and you feel a way about it and you don't want to talk to, you don't want to talk about it in class, you can, you can, you can send me an email and we can have a conversation. We can set aside some time to do the stuff. But I'm going to say to you, if you're in class and you don't speak to me, it means that I'm not going to know what it is that you've learned. I will ask you questions. I will say things. Sometimes I will say the incorrect stuff and pause to see if anybody recognizes what I say. And sometimes I don't pause. Sometimes I move on. And somebody will say, oh, no, sir, but you can't say that, sir. I was like, okay. How long did it take you to recognize what I said? And just one of my strategies just to make sure that you guys are following. All right. So I really want you guys to talk to me. Um, it gets very lonely on this side of the of the microphone when I'm having a conversation and nobody's responding to me. I absolutely dislike it. And one of the strategies that I use, normally I used to put students out of the class. I put them in a waiting room, but I don't have time to do them something there again. Too much energy. So when I ask a question, what color is the sky? And everybody's muted. I just sit back and sometimes I'll get up and go and make me a cup of tea 
and I'll wait until you start talking. And if it continues, you know, for, for far too long, I will just ask Mrs. Campbell to find, or Mr. Rose, whoever it is, to find me, uh, find you guys a new, a new teacher because I'm not here to, to babysit. You guys are grown. I am here to do a job and I want you to help me to do this job. It is 60 hours long. It's a whole lot of stuff. Don't have time to waste. So when you waste my time, it's not going to help you in the long run. All right? So I'm going to pause here now and take your questions. Go ahead, please. Well, sir, um, I can speak for AMS. We don't um, condone any things that peerless persons have done. Mm -hmm. We will work hard to complete our assignments on time. Um, mm -hmm. One question, though, is it the same Edicus soft we'll be using? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Um, and the cl class trip, I'll meet the WhatsApp group shortly and then nice. send the link in the chat so everybody can join. Very nice. And who is this? Lekarin Allen. Lekarin okay, Allen, yes, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Anybody else? Uh, good uh, yeah. afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I just wanted to add on to what Lekarin said. Mm -hmm. Um. I am asking, and um, members of my group, which is a part of the um, BMIS group, we're asking um, if for easier um, communication, mm -hmm. we have three persons that you email any documents, links, or so to. Lakarna being one of them, another one is Kenneth and myself. You mm -hmm. can email it to us, and we will disseminate it to the WhatsApp group. Because no that's, that's what we handle. No problem, sir. All right, thank you. Just, just let me know what works best for you guys. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Um, sir, how is the course fit? Is it that uh, we have an exam? Or, well, of course, you have an exam, but how is it fit, sir? All right, so um, it's it's a 60 40 ratio 60% for your exam, 40% for your coursework. The coursework is split into three pieces. You're going to get your homework and quizzes on Edicosoft. Um, normally that is to 20%, and then you're going to get either one or two coursework pieces um, for another 20%. Uh, so that is going to be your 40%. And of course, your exam is going to be 60%. For the exam, you get 20 multiple choice questions. You will get four essay type questions, each worth 30 marks for you to select any two. 30 marks per question, you are required to do two, that's 60 marks in total. Your multiple choice is marked out of 20. So that's a total of 80. And that gives you a percentage of that. And 60% of that value goes towards your final grade. Though the classes are online, you will do a paper-based exam face-to-face. -face. And um, and this is why it's important. I you know, some people complain about it. I don't know why you complain. If you really come to class and focus and pay attention and do what it is that I ask you to do, trust me, I guarantee you, you won't have a problem. Just come to class and focus. Talk to me. Ask me questions. Engage me. Um. Okay, no problem. So, see message. Just engage me. Uh, there's something I was going to tell you what we're talking about. Um, anyhow, it, it, it's slipping just now. Um, yeah, go ahead. Anybody else have a question? This will come back to me. Sir? Yes, sir. Yes, please. All right, so I'll come um, to you. I think Juliano. Um, yes, sir. Um, I might be jumping the gun here, but could you could you like define calculus in in your term, sir? Calculus is like having a nice plate of oxtail with bungo rice and peas. You have some nice vegetable at the side, and a tall glass of lemonade when you finish. Um, you pull your pants base, you recline, and you hold a good sleep under cool cool breeze. That's what calculus is. Okay, sir. Yeah, man. Yes, Kristen. Hi, good afternoon. 
I hope awesome. I'm not jumping the gun as well. Um, is it possible for you to post the course outline, please, oh, in the in the Zoom chat? Absolutely. Well, maybe not in the Zoom chat, but I mean, you'll get you'll get it. Um, if you want it in the Zoom okay. chat, yeah, let me send it in the Zoom chat. I normally I normally put it on um Edipus, but if you are requesting the Zoom chat, mm -hmm. I will try and get it there. No problem. Any mm -hmm. other question? Yes, read on. Afternoon, sir. Um, mm -hmm. what level of mathematics are you expected to know in order to successfully complete this course? Big, big mathematics. Big, big, enough, enough maths. Um, so you're no longer at the CSEC level. So calculus two, calculus one, calculus two are heavy math courses. And you would understand why they are heavy courses because you guys are working with Python and C++ and doing lots of programming. You must have the math behind it in order to complete the programming. So it's going to be a lots of work. Matter of fact, I should say to you, if it is that you're in this group, no, as we speak, and you don't have CXC math, or better yet, you did not do FCM 1, 2, 3, and you would have sat discrete math and algebra, and probability and statistics and didn't pass them, you need to have a conversation with me. You need to have a conversation with me because it means that you will not be best suited to start this course. What I don't want you to do, I don't want you to, to sit in my class, to sit in a session and frustrate yourself. And it's not because of the teacher or because of you. It's just because you don't have the prerequisite in order to move on with the course. Um, I don't want to hurt you mathematically. And when it is that you are not ready for something, and we force it onto you, um, and you get frustrated, then I hear comments like, me not like maths. And based on what it is that you're doing in terms of computing, um, in terms of these heavy programming, um, you know, you guys, you guys will have to have some level of appreciation for the mathematics. Let me just jump the gun and say to you, as I'm hearing a lot of people say they don't want to jump the gun, let me jump it. I think that I, I think that I can be a fun teacher. I think that I, after so, so many years teaching, would have had a, a knack in passing on the information to students in a, in a very succinct way. So it is that we can understand and learn and move on. Um, you know, I think I, I think I have it. Um, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself. If at any point in time you want to tell me that, sir, you think you have it, but you don't, you can say it. But just say it nicely, right? Um, let me know because ultimately, if I'm not reaching you, you need to let me know that, sir, in as much as how um, you're trying, you're just not connecting. So I can find ways in, in, in trying to get you, at, um, you know, get you to where I want you to be. So it's it's going to be a difficult task, and I, I'm not going I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's going to be an easy walkover. No, is it possible? Absolutely, sir. Can I get an A for the course? Absolutely, sir. Can I get an A plus for the course? Absolutely. Um, but what it means is that you guys have to be committed to the task. Okay. You guys have to. You guys have to do what it is that you're supposed to do because if you don't. Ouch. And so many times I'm saying it, I'm going to say it for the last time. If you allow the calculus one to go by you for a minute, you're going to have problems. If you allow calculus one to go by you for a minute, you're going to have problems. Am I scaring you? I hope not. What I'm saying to you is build in your regime, build in your regime um, something that you can do, some revision um, every day. Do a little bit of work. Um, make little notes, little flashcards, um, little stuff. Um, anything that works for you so that you can you can get what it is that you can get out of it. It's very important. Very, very important. All right. Um, go ahead with the other questions, please. Um, um go ahead. Not, not so much a question. Just want to highlight to the class 
that the um the WhatsApp group link has been added to the Zoom chat. So you can click on the link and it will take you to the group so you can join. Thank you, sir. No problem. Any other questions? No, no sir, no problem. Okay. All right, somebody's asking you to reshare um, something, please. Uh, if you can, thank you. Hold on a minute, please, guys. Hold on a minute, please. Um, All right, so Ms. Lawrence asks, what is really, what is calculus? I was. Yes, sir. I was being um, a little, a little, a little candid. Um, it is really an aspect of mathematics that it's, it's a special area of math that, um, you know, you can move into into doing specific calculations. You know, you want to find out how something operates, how something varies. You want to talk about optimization. Um, say, for example, you are in a computer. You're 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 in computing and you're doing a computer business and you're selling um, two or three main parts of 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 a machine. I learned some years ago that. When I buy a Toshiba, it's not necessarily all parts in the computer is a Toshiba because I'm buying a computer that says Toshiba, but the shell is Toshiba. But Toshiba may go and outsource their hard drive from China, which is BYD. And then now them um, decide to get the, the, the other piece or something, the keyboard or something from, from Stuart Motors. And then decide for, so they get these stuff and they're getting the cheap stuff because they want the computer price to be as minimal or for them to make as much of it. So when you pull, pull, pull down your computer, you're not seeing everything inside of it to be Toshiba, all right? So what it is, is that you're, you're optimizing how it is that you can save to make more money. So it's really, so I will teach you optimization. I will teach you how to, how to, to, to put, you know, sit, give you scenarios and to ask you to tell me where it is and how it is you can maximize profit. Um, where your minimum profit is going to go? What would be your minimum profit if you were to go into a, in, into a, into a business? Um, so these are some things that we will explore. Um, you know, sometime, sometime, sometime pretty soon, and uh, yeah, I hope that helps. Four and six. Oopsie daisy. Oh no, oh no. Are you guys still hearing me? Yes, sir. Oh, oh okay, sorry. Um somebody okay, somebody somebody's asking me for um forgive me here. You guys are returned. By the way, do I have any new students to the college in the class? Yes. Okay. Yes, um, you do. Yes, sir. Um say that again. Oh, I'm new, Chris Han, Chris Han Barnett. I'm new to the college. I haven't been to school in a while. So. 
Oh, no. oh, okay, but okay, okay. So you did your associate degree with Excelsior? That I did it with PCC, Port Macquarie oh, College. PCC, Port, Port Macquarie College. All right. Okay. Welcome. I only assume. Hi. I only assume that you're all Excelsiorians here, but in in another two years, you can call yourself a proud Excelsiorian. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, is there anybody else? Yes, sir. I'm also from PCC. And who is this person? Creighton Morel. Oh, Creighton, you're okay. Good. Um, welcome, Creighton. Um, um, what's the name of the other person again? Forgive me. I'm actually in another screen, so I'm not seeing. Oh, he said. Oh, this is Rayton. Okay. Um, who? Um, th that female from P P PCC. What's the name again, though? Persan. Persan. Right. Um, right, while right. I have you here, um, may I ask a question? Go right ahead, my love. Um, this calculus one. Is it that it's differential calculus or is it integral calculus or it's a combination of both? A combination of both. A combination okay. of both. One, one, one does not exist without the other. One does not exist without the other. So um whenever we speak about whenever we speak about calculus, um, it is both integration and differentiation. But good question though. So whenever you hear about calculus, Always think integration and differentiation. Any any other comment? Any other comment? Sorry, what was it? what was your YouTube? Yeah, I soon I soon send that off to you. Um, I I'm gonna send that off in a few. I soon I soon attach it to you for you. Sir, yes please. Sir. I'm here. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm here. Oh. Go ahead. Um, I'm not sure if I, I, I missed it earlier in the class, but I haven't already spoke about yourself and you know, how long you've been lecturing and so on, and why I choose to be a lecturer of, the, of this prestigious course. It's only this. Kenneth, can I leave me alone, man? Sure. It's no you want to date me and tell me I'm an old man. All right. Um, you know, it's the first I'm hearing a question of that nature, but I'm not one. To blow my, 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 my own trumpet. But because you asked, I'm going to tell you. I I consider myself an Excelsorian. I I think I was blessed. Um, you know, I, I taught in a high school for a few years. And then I came to the college as a young, young person. So this year, I'm in my 27th year at the college. All right. Some of you don't reach 27. Anybody in the class passed with? Anybody in the class less than 27 years old? Just raise your hand for me, please. Don't be ashamed. Just raise your hand. Anybody less than 27 years old, just raise your hand. All right, I see one, two. Go, blow, All right, so, wow. Four, Jesus. So, is it all you, wait, Mr. Lacombe, wait. No, no, I feel old. Kenneth, this way you do a while ago? All right, so that's, that's how many, that's, uh, you see the phone on. I should be able to see the number. All right, not seeing the number, but yeah. So I am here for twenty. Thank you very much. You can draw your hands. Appreciate it. I am here now teaching at the college for twenty seven years. Um, truth be told, I have no way else going. Um, this is this is this is this is what I love. I was talking to some students today on campus. Uh, well, I was talking to a student on campus. Taught her. Um, Kate Mass and was just encouraging her to, you know, she wants to do um, dentistry, but she doesn't have the funds. And she says, Sir, I just not going to bother. I said, No, fulfill your dreams. And um, I was able to say to her that I really wanted to become a medical doctor. And I didn't get the grades that, you know, would have taken me into medical school. So I decided that, you know, let me just finish this first degree and then I'm going to teach for two years. You know, I'm going to count one and two. I'm going to teach for two years and then I'm going to go back to school and then I'm going to become a medical doctor. And two years is two years plus 25 years after. And um, I'm here. I do love what I do. Um, I take it with pride. Um, when my students don't do well, but my students are struggling. I internalize it. Um, 
and I I feel a way about it. So this is why sometimes the will come to you and ask, are you understanding? What can I do? Um, you know, because I really want, I really want, I really want you guys to do well. So I, I you know, thanks again, Kenneth, for the question because I really take, I really take pride in what it is that I do. I, I don't, I don't come to my class, um, you know, unprepared. I'm always prepared for my class. I'm always very prepared for my class. And um, I really want you guys to do the very same thing. And, you know, just do what it is that I really want you to do. Um, yeah. Hope that helps. Any other question? No, sir. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Somebody else, somebody said no, but somebody wanted sound like we're coming with something else. Yes, sir. Um, you said that the course is a 60 40 course and the 40 percent is for the um coursework. Coursework. And yes, you said the 20 percent is for homework and, and the other okay, and the other the other 20 percent is your the um your mid-semester exams. Oh, okay. Yeah, mid semester. Um, yeah, mid semester. And I said exams just now because I could give you one. If I give you one, it's a full 20%. If I give you two, it's only 10%, 10%. So it depends. Remember, you know, don't, 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 don't shy to talk to me, you know. Talk to me because I want you guys to get it. All right. I'm going to give you a few. It's no, it's no three minutes, two minutes to, yeah, three minutes to six. Um, There's a student who is a new student to the college that is struggling to find their online class and sent me a message. I'm going to beg you. Um, I'm going to beg you three minutes. I'm going to put you on mute. Oh, Lord. Oh, forget I left the phone. I'm going to beg you. Three minutes so that I can just help the student to navigate. I don't want the student to get frustrated, right? Soon come back. All right, sir. Take it down.
thanks for your patience. You are a good bunch of students. Um, student is fully sorted now. Um, I will definitely now focus on. All right, somebody asked me about the course outline. Course outline. Let me just get the course outline. Click on first. Outline. Course outline. Do, 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 do. Course outline. Uh, math thirty six zero one. Math thirty six zero one. Um, math thirty six zero one. This is copy. Um, chat. <coughs> All right, so your Math 3601 course outline is in the chat. Let me know if you're seeing it, please. Yes, sir. All right, great. Is there anything else that you, you, you ask of me? Um, what do we have? All right, so since we sir, are... Yes, um, what about the activation for Educasaf? All right, so... um. What I'm going to ask is, mm. All right, so I don't get I don't get access to Edicus Office. I can't give you that just yet, but I'm I'm supposed to be getting it soon. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is, I'm going to ask the reps, and I want the reps to listen carefully. I'm going to ask the reps to to get the names of your classmates. It may be um there are different groups. I may have IT, I may have EMIS, you know, whatever the situation is, or computer science, I don't know. Now, I don't think we'll offer computer science anymore. Um, what I want you to do for me is I need I need the document in Excel. I need to have it first name in one cell, last name in another cell. I don't want first name and last name in one cell. I want everything that I'm giving you, I want it in its own cell. So first name in one cell, last name in one cell, email address in one cell, ID number in another cell, so that I can just upload the document, the file to Edicasoft, so I can give you access to it, you know, in two minutes when I get access to it. So if it means that I'm gonna get two files, I can combine them. Or if you, go ahead. Can I repeat that, sir? Now, what I want you to do for me is just to get, I want the, the, the names of the students in, a, in an Excel file so that I can just add, when I get access to Edicasoft, I can just add it seamlessly. So what, I, what I'm requiring is the first one, one column with your first name. So like column A is, is first name. Column B, last name. Column C, email addresses. Column D, ID numbers. And that, that's the information I'm going to be using to give you your access to edit the soft. So if you can do that for me and then, um, you know, I would appreciate it. As well as, as well as, um, I, I hear the reps. I hear the reps in terms of, you know, being responsible enough, you know, when I send the email to get it to the to the groups. Um, I honestly believe that there is there is importance of, as I said before, I'm gonna pray about it. Um, I mean, I'm seeing students in this class, you know, that I had a, have a relation, you know, with, you know, of course a student teacher relation with and um and you know, or I would have taught in the past, so you may have a number. But I pray about it. Um, but I also need to be able to to touch base with the class. Um, I know I can do that through Educasoft, but I also want to to create a group email. So, if grateful if this class could create a group email, so that when I send you an email, it goes to everybody at the same time. Because you know, the the the, the class dynamics may work in such a way that somebody may want to be malicious and say, "Sir." Um, um, Chris and Chris and didn't give me the stuff. Chris and really gave the stuff. So you know, uh, I see your hand. Is that an old hand, Chris and, or is that a new question? It's a new hand. Um, what, what, can you explain to me what is Edicosoft? It's the first Edicosoft, time you're it. Okay, great, no problem. So Edicosoft is a learning management system or tool, um, and it's and it's specifically mathematics. So when we give you your assessments through Edicosoft, it's it's a online platform that 
gives you math content and assessments. The system marks it automatically. It gives you your grade. So at least at all times, you know what grade you're going to. Hold on, the new student is calling back again. Hold on a minute, please. Sorry about that. Sir. Sorry, somebody was saying, sir. Who was that? Yes, sir. Hey, stop here. Um, yes, sir. Sir, I still at work. I have my laptop with me to create the cell with the email and everything. No problem. No problem. No problem. Um, it's all right. We, we can talk about that, uh, Adrian. Going to make right. a cell. I'm going to send the cell into WhatsApp. And you guys put in your information. Great. Great. That's why I like teaching computing students, you know, you know, you know just smart. You know, very smart. Um, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Papa. All right. So... So let's go. Let's go. Oh yes, yes, love. Um, the group that 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 created a link just now for the WhatsApp. So please look through the chat and um, and try and join. Yes, um, sir. May I try and join because the um, a tablet. Oh, okay. Okay. No, okay, not picking up so good. All right. No, um, about the WhatsApp, no link with the tablet. Oh, got you. Um, anyway, may I go All right, cool, cool. Yeah, you, you, you always, always figure it out. You guys are competing students. You always have a solution to sir's challenges. All right, so I'm just scrolling through the, 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 the link and I'm trying to just see if there's a name there that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, that I can... Um, and it looks like I am... Um, Okay with you all. All right. On the mark, get set, go. This is it. This is it. This is it. So I am one of those teachers who I do write on the board in class. But I also set up my stuff the way you're seeing it on the screen. And um, for the purpose of tonight's class, you know, I, I really want to make an impression tonight. I hope I didn't scare anybody earlier. I am going to just use what it is that I have here projected. And at some point in time, you will see me, you'll see me write, handwrite, um, you know, on, on, on different areas. We just need to have a conversation. And a matter of fact, I may need to write, but we have a conversation. What level of conversation we have, sir? Um, if you look at your, your outline, you'll see that we start off with limits and theorems. Limits and theorems. Now, you all should understand what a limit is, you know, Funny story. I I don't even know if you are the guys I'm supposed to be telling this story to because it's going to open a whole can of worms. But anyhow, I'm going to say it. Some years ago, I said to my computing students, my calculus students, uh, I need to get a new machine. What machine I supposed to get? And the whole class, if there were 10 students in the class, I got 10 different solutions. 
And I say, none of them don't make no sense. And they don't have enough one bit. So I went and did my own research. And I bought a Lenovo. Bought a Lenovo, put screen, and I hated it. It's the worst system that I've ever owned as a human in this life. Depends on which one I get, sir. I, I, I know somebody was going to come and disagree with me, but what's my bedroom? Sir, I have one, sir. I have one. <laughs> bedroom, let me tell you something with the Lenovo. It's like I'm having my online class now. I may get about 45 minutes out of the battery life for the, for the thing. So every time I'm having a class, I have to make sure that I, I end up, my laptop end up turning, becoming a desktop. All right? That's and then no for, I go ahead. Say it again? Make, I can attest to that, sir. Can my own, I have to have my own plug in right to the class. And that's why I don't like it. If you have a laptop, it's supposed to be a laptop. Do you understand? So that yeah. was the first strike. That was the first strike for me. First strike. And the second strike for me was sometimes I am in you know, a class and I just grab up my laptop and then I don't remember that it's touch screen. So I grab up the laptop and then everything was gone. And I don't share my whole screen because there are times I am working on your exam paper for argument's sake. And I have many screens open. So I, I, I just share a document at a time. And sometimes I accidentally close the document that I'm working on. And sometimes the document don't save. And I was just getting frustrated. And I said to myself, look, don't want it anymore. So I went and bought an HP. You know, HP and I are not friends. I don't like HPs. But, you know, them say must knock wood. This HP is, is, is going on good so far. I don't get a full two hours out of class. But I get close to the two hours in, in terms of battery. And I know I use a lot of, you know, um, energy with, with the Zoom classes and so forth and so on. But what's the point? What's the moral of the story? I was reflecting recently when um when I acquired the HP and I recognize I have quite a bit of information here. And it's just, it's just really for word processing. I don't do anything else on the computer other than word processing. And I said to myself, I need some more storage. And then I bought a 256 SanDisk. And then I said to myself, but if I buy 256, you really don't get 256, you know, sometimes you get 249. Or maybe you get 250 something. But you don't get 256. But guess what? That is the limit of the sand disk. You're not going to get you're not going to get five twelve. Go ahead, please. Uh, to my uh, computer coming too hard drive, sir. <laughs> the Show two, off. I think I think it come with the two fifty six and a one terabyte just for storage only. Are you serious? Yes. The okay. uh, Wi-Fi party. Well, we never have them logs logs with it. So what I what I've done years ago, when I say years ago, long, long time, good almost about 10 years ago, I bought a one terabyte external something. And that's a go on good. So when when the computer say it's full, you know, say, we're not paying no mind. I just transfer every bit of information and just put it right there and then I have a new brand system again. So the limit we're talking about, the limit tells me it can hold so much, but no more. It can hold so much, but I cannot put 1.5 terabyte bit of information on a one terabyte document. Don't even try to get smart with me. I say, sir, you can increase the space. Can't happen. So the limit of it is one terabyte. And I'm going to tell you, when I buy a one terabyte um, external I'm not getting one terabyte. I'm not getting one terabyte. I may get enough, 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 900 and something gigabytes out of it, which is almost one terabyte, you know. But you're not going to get exactly one terabyte. Anybody ever recognize that before? Yes, sir. You're not going to get the full thing. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're not going to get the full thing. But yeah, but the limit of it, though, is a terabyte or a gigabyte. All right. So that's what, in essence, a limit is. And then we have theorems that are going to help us. Theorems are really laws and rules that will help us to understand what these limits and how to calculate these limits. All right. And then now the first one we want to look at is the intuitive approach. The intuitive approach. So what do you mean by what do you mean by intuitive? All right. Um, when you, when you hear the word intuitive, what comes to mind? Anybody, somebody. Sir, go again, sir. Smart. 
Smart, yes. Okay, I was asking. Okay, thank you, Rihanna. Great on. Um, yeah, I was asking when you hear intuitive, what comes to mind? Intuition. Intuition. Right. That's the one I was looking for. Intuition. And and tell me now, what is Damoy? That was you? Who said intuition just uh, now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Damoy. So tell me what tell me what is intuition. Tell give me an example of intuition. The feeling you get the, the well, the first feeling you get. The first you feeling you get. Yeah, all right. Everybody can agree with um, the boy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, man. Somebody, somebody was saying, Julian, was um, was, was that your while ago saying something else? No, sir, I was agreeing. Okay, yeah, man. Good. So, so I want to work with me now. The boy, we can come back to you. Um, if you were to go, if you were to go to a, if you were to go to Florida now, Damoy, for one week, for one week, um, what realistic amount of money you'd want in your pocket to spend? I guess it's eight hundred or five hundred, five hundred, about five hundred US dollars. First intuition was eight. Your first intuition was eight. But okay, we're gonna, we're gonna use the first intuition. Your first intuition is eight hundred dollars. All right. Um, Rayton, if you were the same question, what would be your what, what would be a good amount of money for you to carry? For a week, I'd say about seven seven hundred dollars roughly. About seven hundred dollars. All right, no problem. Love the sound of it. Um let me see if I can go through the rest of them. Taje, what say you? For me, sir, it would be somewhere in the region of maybe fifteen hundred. It all depends on what you intend to do. Okay. So it right. can change based on what you intend to do. Are you going on a vacation? What do you have planned for your vacation? So around fifteen hundred should do. You see, you see, I don't want to you know, in a, a regular something that him do, you know, same can it can just tell you what it is in you know? <laughs> Yeah, manage you at all, Taji. Kyle, what say you, Papa? I love you, Uncle. Now, if you know it, I'm not tension. Tice, what say you? Sir, sorry about that. I was actually responding, but because I'm using a microphone, I didn't realize that Zoom was mute. But I was saying, Sir, Tice, put in a check 10k US. Me say, we kill this man. Come out from my class. Ty, are you here talking? Of? Come out of my class. About 10k. You have 10k US to put on? I beg your money, no peace, Ty. Yes, sir. Tice, yeah, yeah. Sorry, who is this? Alan, sir, right. I was asking if he was hearing me. All right, I'm not going on. All right, sir, you're hearing better now? Ah, who is that now? Sir, it's Kyle, sir. I was actually responding, sir, but because I'm using a microphone, mm -hmm. it and Zoom was mute, sir, so I didn't realize. But I was saying 2000 About $2,000. All right, no problem. Yes, sir. All right, cool, cool. Um, Thais, come back. Come, come here, Thais. Come to the front of the class, Thais. Where's Tice? Yes, sir. Yes, hmm. sir. Yeah, may I hear no papa? Um, ten thousand US dollars to do what, sir? Sir, that is supposed to can cover like almost every, every little thing we want and need to have the vacation trip because things normally kind of there overseas. Like things that you want, look, you can just like yeah. cover everything. Well, your appetite is your appetite is well well large because the truth of the matter is if me go for one week, um, a eight hundred dollar, a thousand dollar, a fifteen hundred dollar, um, you know, could have work. But you say ten thousand dollar look like you go buy the whole apartment and carry to my Jamaica. But you know how, um, I understand. All right, so that's what it is, sir. guys. Yes, please go ahead. And sir, no, you know, dependent on the flight, sir, as in the type of flight, like jet blue and them something. Like. No, we're not talking about them, you know, because them, them people, they're thief. Oh, sorry, I can't say that I'm being recorded. No, man, them people, they know, sister, in, hey, one time you could have found one ticket out for $200, you know, about $600, $700 for one paying ticket, you know. No, I'm just talking about pocket money, you know. We're not talking about the, the fear money, because we buy the fear or something already, the, the paying ticket already, that's a pocket money we don't talk about. Yeah, man. All right. So, you know, the reason I asked the question, because I want to look at my screen. I want to look at my screen. 
and I want you to agree with me that your the intuitive approach, I may call, I may call five a large number. And somebody may say to me, Sir, five, five no large, sir, fifty. And somebody may say, yo, 50? No, man, $500. I mean, 500 And then somebody said, no, man, 5000 Yes, 5000 man. Somebody said, no, say 50000 It's an intu intuitive approach. Now, look at the question. Question one says, we're going to evaluate the limit. We're evaluating the limit as X tends to 1. Let me be a five so you can see it. X tends to 1. That's what it means. X tending to 1 of X plus 1. I want you to look at that. I want you to write that down. I am going to, I'm going to take two seconds and then come back to you, but I want you to write that down. I want you to write it down. I'm going to have a, a, a what I hope would be a lovely conversation with you. Um, the limit as X tends to one of X plus one. Two seconds and then I'll come back to you.
Guys, tell me, before we share left, what, what did he ask us to do? What did he ask us to do? He yeah, asked you to write down the, the example that's on the screen. Okay, much appreciated. All right. Now, having seen that, the limit as x tends to 1 of x plus 1, what does that? Can anybody tell me what, what, what do you understand by that? The limit as x tends to 1 of x plus 1. What do you understand by that? The limit of a number is the number plus 1. Limit of a number is an okay. Um, all right, I hear you. Anybody else? Don't be shy, man. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Talk to teacher. Sir, I would say... Wow. Let me check that, man. Come on, man. Say it, man. Say it, man. Come on. Let, 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 let me tell you that it's foolish to talk about, and I will never tell you that. Hello, somebody. So, um, so, um, maybe it's saying that the value, of the limit of x can't be more than one. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, sir, sir, the limit of a number can't be more than itself. Okay. All right. I, I, I like the thinking. I, I, I really am appreciating the thinking. Um, I give I give two more, two last ones. Um, sir, um, the limit of a number, um, can, um, the limit is one to add it to a number. For example, it's a whole number. Mm -hmm. Um, the highest that can be added to it is one, or the maximum. Okay. okay. All right. I like that. All right. I like that. All right. No, sir. Go ahead, sir. Um, is it like? to evaluate well 
not to use but the same word, but to determine um the behavior of the function as x approaches a specific value, which in this case is one. Who is it speaking to me? Kaim. Okay, Kaim. Um, all right, let me ask you a question, Kaim. I don't want to rest to listen keenly. Um, oh, um, one of the one of one of the things that uh, some students don't like about me is that sir just tell me the answer now. I am not a tell you the answer teacher. I am a I'm a teacher that I want to extract the information out of you because it's why I ask the questions around because I want to I want to get what you guys are thinking. I could come and I could tell you what it is, but that there will be no learning. I'm only telling you and giving you the information. So I want you to come to class and you know the sweat equity has to be in there. So Kaim, let me ask you a question. And I want the rest of you to think about the question I'm asking, Kaim. Um, do you live on a cul de sac, Kaim, or do you live on an avenue where you can take it from one end and the next end? Sir, could you repeat that? You do you live at do you live um in a dead end? I mean, or you can go from one end of your avenue or to the other end of the avenue. Or you, or your or your avenue stay. I don't I want can to take away from one end to, to the other. And, and, to the other. Okay. Let me ask you, Kaim. Say now, your, your residence number is 15. You live at 15 Calculus 1 Avenue. So it means that you can enter your residence number 15 from the top of the road or from the bottom of the road. True or false? True. Good. What number will you always get to? 15. Ah, why? Uh, because. So we can, um, it's been incremented it's by one. number. No, because they say live, they say live, they say Yeah, they say live. Right, that's a destination. And they say live, so you know, say, anywhere you go, you take the longest route. You end up at the same. You're going to end up at the same place. And they say you live. All right, watch me. Watch me. Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm editing. So why is it that? Uh, come on. Uh, okay. What of buff? I don't want to black. I want. All right. So you want to be that guy tonight? Don't be that person tonight, man. Just work with me a much. Um. All right, so work with me now. So it says the limit as x tends to one. Do you agree that? That's zero, that's one, this is two. Do you agree that this is, this is how the number line looks? Talk to me, yes or no? Or is the other way the negative sign supposed to be? The negative sign is on the correct side? Or is it supposed to be? Yes, sir. It's on the yeah, yes, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. It's, that's a, correct, it's yeah. the correct side. Okay. Now, this is what I'm looking at. I want everybody to look at the board. This is what I'm looking at. That's one. So, like a heel, I can enter one this way, or I can go to one this way. Talk truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, good. Good. Yeah. Now, so if you look carefully, this side is going to be called my left-hand side. And this side is going to be my right-hand side. RHS is right-hand side. LHS is left-hand side. So I have my left side, I have my right side. So I can decide, and then when Kahim going home, he can take it from the upside or the downside. But for the sake of this two-dimensional um, whiteboard I'm using, you know, when him walking on the street, is three-dimensional. Let me use my two-dimensional. We're going to talk about left-hand side and right-hand side. Now, tell me, when I'm going from the left-hand side, give me a number close to, close to this one that I want. I don't want it to reach one. I want the closest number to one from the left-hand side. What is the closest number you can get to one from the left-hand side? 0.9. Ah, I love the sound of that. 
I love the sound of that. I love the sound of that. But let me ask you, and I've been right it, 0 0.9. Can I get any closer to it, to the number? To one? Yes, sir. Yes, you can. Yes, you oh. can. Oh, 0 0.99. 0 0.99. 0 0.99. 0 0.99. Sir, I have a question. Go oh, right ahead, my love. Um, If it says close to, can't it be one? And the reason why I'm saying that, it could be close to something, but be the something at the same time. So if you're saying you're going close to something, based on my understanding thus far, mm -hmm. it can't be zero because that's still far away. Mm -hmm. It could still be one because even though it's... Ooh, I hope I don't sound too wrong. Even I'm, though... I'm, I'm Chris it's I'm just far talk away. Just talk to him, Chris Ann. Talk to him. Yeah, I get the point. That's what he's saying. But Chris Ann, let me ask you a question, though. I hear your mm -hmm. question, but let me ask you something. Um, I'm in love with this little, or could be a big girl too, on what we'll call her um, Google Maps. But a whole heap of time I cuss her out. Because a whole heap of time she lost me. And especially when they are foreign, she will say to me, say, no, not foreign, sorry, in Jamaica. If I'm trying to find somewhere and I say, um, okay, um, I'm going to, this is my location and this is where I'm going. I'm going to 15 Calculus 1 Avenue. But Google don't recognize, say, the route that she's taking me, that that road block off. And I can't drive the road there. And she'll tell me, say, go the road there. And by the time I go, she'll say, rerouting. Anybody, anybody know me talking about? But usually I get more than one choice as for your route. You know, so. Very good. But what she do is give you the shortest route. But the shortest route may be, all right, let me give you a practical example. I am going to Ottawa Avenue of Hope Road. But you know where the U.S. Embassy is, you know, so then um, the, the backside to the U.S. Embassy is... Um, is an avenue that we used to drive on and come out on um, Olo Road. Well, maybe some of you wouldn't know that. But because the U.S. Embassy is there and they're trying to beef up security, that road is no longer through road. So anybody who they live right on the side of so, and want to go over, um, for go buy pizza and drive, then can't do that anymore. Then if we go drive all the way and cut up on Monroe Road and come back all the way around. Google don't pick that up. So if somebody know, supposed to go in Google and say, oh, you can't drive yours again, so that Google can get updated. The point I'm making, Chrisan, is you can get close to it. And sometimes they tell you that you have, a, you have arrived at your destination. Your destination is to the left. But when you look to the left, you know, so no, you know look where, it's where I go. Because something has changed, if it's what I'm saying. So when you're looking at the intuitive approach, the intuitive approach is not going to tell you that you're going to be at one. The intuitive approach is saying to me, yo, I'm getting close to one, but I'm not going to be at one. I'm only getting close to one. So I hear somebody say it because I still can't get closer. By the way, Chris, you understand what I'm saying, my love? Yes. But guess what, Chris, I will come back to that very question you asked me you now. Because that question is the answer to another piece. So when we come back and say, Chrisan, yeah, I will come back to that one day. But I heard some youth in the class that talk about something say, yes, sir, no 0 0.99. And I hear Ashanti, I say, yes, sir, 0 0.999. I'm mean, hearing somebody that talk about one for nine thereafter. Come on. So this is this is me moving from my left hand side, investigating what is happening. Let me ask you a question. When I move to the right hand side, me go so. Give me a number that is close to one. Me I move from the right oh. hand side. I get what you're saying, Ben. So if, based on the area pointed, it's not technically going to the right, it's going to the left. So the next close it could be is two. I'm coming from two, one. Christian. I'm coming from two. <laughs> two go to one. So in this case, it would be somewhere in the region of 
one point zero 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 one. Some something in that in that uh, region. One point zero zero one. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yes, so we 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 uh, sir, one point nine. One point nine. Uh, one point nine. Kind of too far though. You know, thing. You, you can't get closer closer than one point nine. And one. Oh oh oh. One point. Right, 1.0001 or something. No, right, right. But, somewhere in that region. So 1.001 is the same answer that Chris and gave earlier that you are going to be giving now. And I tell you, so I'm coming to Chris and sometime soon. So tell me, you know, what is it? Um, you guys have it, you know, and I'm not going to tell you guys have it. Yes, sir. If I come from the right hand side, we need for you. You went from the right hand side now. Tell me what Tell me what the limit of code is. Huh? Say it again. Is that my reach one, but my to include one as the answer? Right. You're getting close to one. You're getting close, oh, close to one. Two, two, sir. No man, two too far. Remember, you're coming from two to one, you know. You're approaching one. That means right. say. Okay. Talk to me, man. I don't want to tell you guys. I know you guys have it. Sure. Oh. So you say yeah, oh, yeah. the one, 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 sir. Not one. One point one. Yes, sir. All right then. Who said that? Green. Alwin. All right. Hold on, Alwin. Now, now, now come to that one. Then. I kind of like this one. Other one, still Alwin. Uh, if you tell you the truth, sir, is go ahead. Sir, is the answer one? The answer is. No, the answer is not one. If you, you know, if you ask me a question like that, I'm going to tell you, no, the answer is not one. But tell me why you think the answer is one. Um, yeah. All right, one thing about it. Alvin, you said one point, you said one point. Um, one point one. He said 1.1, 1 .1, Alwin. All right. Sir, is it negative 0 0.999 into infinity? Mm, um, why, why is it negative, though? Because you're moving um, from the right-hand side back towards 0. So to progress along the number line, you need to subtract. Yeah, but yeah, OK. But I, 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 over the 0 yet. So ah, very nice. Right, you wouldn't get to the zero. Yet, very right. nice. So let me come back to you now. Um, you, you, you see what your two classmates answer and say? You don't reach over the zero yet, you know. So you can't go to the non-negative yet. So would it still be point nine? Uh, uh he, he, yeah, but you see, right about now, you're going to jump in your yard for go, for go, for go reach a your yard and then them have them shawawa, powwow, chowwow, dog, and them are going to bite you up. So you can't drop the can't drop, and if you drop the fence and the pop out, see the pop out go shoot you and say your teeth, your teeth. See if we go enter the house in the correct way. Because you'll right. be passing his yard, you'll be passing one to go to Absolutely. point nine. Uh, talk truth. So why would you pass your yard and then for go drum somebody else for come back to your yard, don't it? Mm -hmm. I like that. So what I also like was the one point one. I also like the one point one. So we can put one point one. All right. So I like the 1.1. 1 .1. I'm going to put the 1.1. 1 .1. We we'll ask you a question now. I want you to think about it. Um, am I allowed to get any closer? Am I allowed to get any closer than 1.1? 1 .1? I would want to think so about 1.01. 1.01? Yeah. Sir. Okay. Um, who is that? Dijon? Yes, sir. Okay, so if I say 1.01, 1 .01, what next? Any closer? You can. Sir, 1. sir, 1. I have 0, a question. Like, you, you can, technically. Okay. Yes, touch. yes. Who was that a while ago? Time. So, why can't it be 1? Why can't it be 1? All right. Yeah. So, you and you and Chrisan are good friends for now, and I want you to stay good friends now. Me so answer. Sir, when I, when I is, sir, is it that because one, if you have one, you already are in one, but you're just trying to get closer to one, but you're not trying to get to one at that point, I guess. I I, I like that. Trying to get I, close to you. I I I, I like it. Yeah yeah yeah. Full hundred. Yeah, that's that's my aim. That's my aim. 
I want one more because I soon wrap up. I want one more. Give me a number that is closer now than the 1.001. 1.0001. 0001. Yeah, the number that all right, excellent, excellent. Um, so if you look at it, it says, if you look at it, it says it is read, evaluate the limit as X tends or approaches to one of the function X plus one. When something approach something, it not reached there yet. It not reached there yet. So it's sir, never sir, going to, go ahead. Sir, so what you're basically, trying to ask is what happens to the functions output as um the as x gets closer to one because i don't think you're actually thing. trying to find the closest number because there's an infinite amount of um real numbers uh as x gets closer Close to, to one number. Yes, yeah, sir. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it, puppy. That's it. So I just want to see what what it looks like when it gets close. I just want to look like what it looks like when it gets close. Now, if I were to talk in human language and not math, 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 math language, you know, sometimes in life we say that, you know, we're going to get close, but we're strong enough and we can pull back. We're going to get close and enough that we find itself that it does get caught into the trap. I don't know what you guys are thinking about, but I'm, let me give, let me clear up myself. Let's just say that I'm thinking of something else. So you know that you know that you're not supposed to have chocolate, but you get very close to a chocolate um, you know, factory and um, you, you get very close to it and you say, oh no, the chocolate smells nice. I'm not going to have it. But the closer you get to the chocolate something, you're going to get tempted and say, okay, one last bite. And you're going to the chocolate store and you go buy the chocolate and buy the chocolate and then you your skin break out or you get into hives and what is something to you. So you're going to get close to the thing, the one. It is only approaching it, but it is not reaching it. In two minutes, this is what I want to show you. The examples that you gave me are on point. So when you say the 0 0.9, let me, let me spotlight so you can see what I'm talking about. When I show you the 0 0.9, in the function, the function, the question was, the limit as x tends to one of x plus one. So these are my values that I'm playing around with, 0 0.9. What happens to the function when it gets close to one? But the value that it is at now is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 right here. So for my x value plus one is going to give me 1.9. So my output is going to be 1.9. I said, okay, fine. You know what? Because it's an intuitive approach, you remember somebody in a class said to me, and I thought to myself, that was a perfect example. Somebody said to me, I don't remember who, I'm just learning the names, for, forgive me. One of the other things I would say to you is that you have to talk to me in class. Because when you speak to me in class, that's why I, I think the Lord has developed my, my, my voice recognition senses. So I don't have to be looking at the screen to see who is talking. I can recognize your voices. So you have to talk to me. And when I ask you, who is this talking to me, just tell me. And sometimes when you are talking, you say, boy, sir, you know, said it's a Taheem, so at least we know, say, you know, I can put the voice to the name. Now, somebody gave me an example, say, sir, I'll go with $800. No, sir, $500. You know, $800 is my intuition, but I think I can live with $500. Who was that? Somebody said that in class earlier. Anybody remember who said it? Oh, that was me. Okay, that, that more. All right, good. So this is exactly what is happening. So I'm investigating what is happening at 0 0.9. And my output is going to be 0 0.1, but 1 1.9. And because it's an intuition, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to put another guess. 0 0.99. When I put 0 0.99 in the stuff, I'm going to get 1.99 out. I said, blow, blow. I am getting a value that is closer to uh, another number. And when I put in 0 0.999, I said, mm -hmm. well, on the bond, I get in 1.999. Tell me, this 1.9 is approaching what number? Two. 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 What do I want to approach? Approaching two. 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 And two. this one to two. down. Two. And this one to yes, down. Right. So I can safely say then that irrespective of what my intuition is, every time I put the value and number within that thing, 
it is coming out to be to a whole number two. Everybody can see that okay. and I can agree with that. Yes, please. So, yeah, so what's what's the limit where this man place is concerned? What's what? The limits, like, can I go beyond for this small place? Um, that we can discuss. We saw, we saw, uh, it's, it's a point I'm bringing across, but sure, I, I, saw, I saw respond to that one. All right, sir. And the reason, I'm, the reason I'm doing this and I'm going up to four decimal places because I'm showing a point. So I could have gone to 1.9999 and another 9, but it will be giving me the same response. All right? So we know now from the left-hand side, the limit is approaching what? Two. Two, sir. Two. All right, good. But when we put it on the right-hand side now, when we put the 1.1 into the same function, when we put the 1.1, 1, 1.1 1, 1 plus 1 is 2.1. Low but sir, I pass 2. All right, fret not. 1.01 1. 0, 1 into the function, plus 1, we get 2.01. Oh, but well not, sir. That's closer to 2. That's closer to 2. But when we put in the 1.001, 1. 0, 0, 1, what happened? It moved closer, sir. It still moved closer. Another one that is even closer. So tell me now, what number the limit is approaching on the right-hand side? Two. Very good. Two. Now hear me out. One last example before I dismiss the class. Don't know how many of you are parents, but, and I don't know how many of you lived with both parents, but hear me out. The father may be the one who is rough and will always say no. The mother may be the one that is very soft and say, yes, man, he can do it. So when you want permission on something, you're not going to go to daddy. You're going to go to mommy because you expect mommy to say, yes, you can go. And then sometimes mommy say, yes, you can go. And then it's okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to the party. And then daddy come in and say, where are you going? Oh, mommy say, I can't go to the party. You're not going nowhere. Of course, you know, so you can't, you're going to fix. But he can't forget to take off his clothes because that is he can't go nowhere. All right. Hold on to that example, you know. Other example, you no, know, you're going to ask mommy because mommy is a soft one. Mommy, can I, may I go um, to buy pizza with my neighbor? They invited me. Mommy says, sure. And then daddy said, where are you going? Oh, our neighbor invited me to buy pizza. Um, may I go, daddy? Yes, mommy can go. All right, good. What's the difference with the, with the two examples I just gave you? So I think with the second oh, one, um, you ask if you ask if you can go, like uh -huh. you ask both parents if you could go. But with the first one, um, you ask the mother first, and then you just told the father. If and what was the, and what was the outcome with the first one? Uh with the first one, he said no. Okay, and which 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 you notice you notice is the father one that overruled it and said no, you can't go. But what happened in the second in second instance? Sir, but one of them him oh, out. parents agreed, agree, sir. All right, very good. One one parent agreed, the other parent um, don't agree. And then in some families, no, the father may say, the mother may come and say, Lord Jesus, man, you just a shelter, shelter the picnic, so and the picnic can't go, go meet new friends and so forth. And instead of now, the mother and the father having that sort of that big argument take place. Anybody know what we're talking about? Anybody can relate to that? Well, I can't say that. I grew up in a single parent also. Okay. All right. Some, okay. Somebody said they can attest to it. But in the other household, no. Um, well, in a similar household with mother and father, you know, when mommy say yes and then daddy say, okay, fine, you can go. There is no argument. Um, Maybe mommy and daddy will say, okay, you know that you have to pizza, pizza is half an hour from here. I'm going to give you maybe another half an hour plus another 20 minutes. So I'm expecting you back at X time. What's the point I'm making? I try to give real life examples of what I'm teaching so that the, the lesson come easier. So we're going to say that the limit is of a good behavior. We're going to say that the limit is of a good behavior. Since the limit of the, of the, of the other function approaches two from the left-hand side and from the right-hand side alike. Now, and therefore the limit exists. What is this limit? Limit is two. Now, if when we do work on the left-hand side, I will see I'll go to three, I will work out the right hand side and see it I go to two. You know, so the limit don't exist because it's of a bad behavior. Sir, why bad behavior? Because one side has something else and the other side has something else. There's no synchronization going between the two. 
but because the limit is of a good behavior we say yeah man um it can go on you know it can go on um the limit exists because it moving from the left and the right it has said the same something so yeah it's good to go does that make sense to you know yes sir no so yes sir so when you're doing your work when you're doing your work you have to make sure that you do your calculations correctly and you need to tell me the limit of the function if the limit from the left hand side is not equal to the limit from the right hand side it can't work do me a favor i have another question here it says example two evaluate the limit as x tends to two of x plus one over x minus one i'm going to ask you to write that down play around with it play around with it try to do something with it and come back on thursday god's willing and tell me your answer but we have a, it's not a matter of being right or wrong you know it's a matter you know, of you know trying to do what it is that i'm asking you to do and to see how it is that we can fully understand what is happening i'm going to come back to christian christian who is your brother again somebody said the same thing that you said who was that person sir you Mr. Ryan, I said it's Friday of class, no, sir, not Thursday. Oh, it's Friday? Rockstone. Yes, sir. Oh, when I'm at 5 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock? Yes, sir. We see it, man. Mm-mm. Well, that would be very nice to me, you know. Friday sir, evening? Think of, think of the opposite, no, sir. No, 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 no. Una, I forgot to be nice to me. On a Friday, the teacher is supposed to be at a place having a nice drink and relaxing. And I have to go be in a class with you at five o'clock to eight o'clock for one whole semester. When I have to go be nice to me, you know? real, real talk, real, real talk. But Friday night, five o'clock, Friday, yeah, man, three hours, no problem. Thanks for reminding me. Take that off for me, please. Um, Christian, who was someone? There was somebody um who said the same thing like you, Christian. Then I said that I'm going for my to both of you. Who was that person? When he said that is one. I think I understood why I was looking at it like that. I was looking at it as a function. I was looking at it as, as a single equation you need to solve x4. I hear you, no mommy. That's fine. But mm -hmm. I still will come back to you. But somebody said somebody else, I said the same thing like you. Who was that person? All right, no problem. Don't remember. All right, that's fine. But I'm gonna come back to you though, Chris. Um, Christian, because I mean you said something that I'm gonna come back to talk about. Now, this concept, guys, and I'm wrapping this concept is going to be very important and why important because i'm going to move into another topic when you look through your outline something that is called piecewise function and this 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 concept is going to be very important for piecewise so hear me out normally when i teach this topic and i reach a piecewise function piecewise function i can take like half a class on the piecewise because students understood this portion of it so make sure you say you understand a piece here. Because if not, piecewise function will beat you. All right. Pick on fast. I want two somebody to talk to me. We'll come to the end of the class. I want two persons to give me their feedback. How was the class? Yeah, that was good. This is our All first right. class, and I think I'm okay. understanding so far. Not bad. Like the approach. Still good job. Good good job. Good job. Nice. Danger, what is it? Nigel, you're saying something. Oh, sorry. I said I like the interaction, sir. Okay, nice, 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 nice. All right. Nice. Yeah, I'll go over this, sir. Huh? Yeah, I'll go over this, don't you? Why? Not sure if we catch it in us, sir. No, don't yes. worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about in it. Here, don't worry. Sir, I'm a little confused. But guess what? No, it's, it's the only state, though. We wait, until the class, we wait until the class done. I'm not going to tell me, sir, I'm confused. No, when you had asked if people have any questions, I was asking for you to go over, but they didn't hear me. No, but if you don't hear your papa, tell me, say, sir, or put up your hand and say, sir, sir. No, man, you have to talk to him, man. But anyhow. Uh, your yeah. number change. <laughs> okay, I'll give you one call after class, sir. <laughs> sir, what I can also say, um, the fact that you, it's interactive, and, and I appreciate that. <laughs> it's interactive and you ask questions instead of telling us the answers. It sticks better that way. And I think oh, absolutely. Can... 
Yeah, yeah I man. Think everyone can, can attest to that. that when the answer is pulled out of a verse, it, it being fed to you, it, it sticks better that way. So that I yeah, man. And, like. yeah. And, and that's why I try to use real life examples. Um, it's a real catch calculus tool, real life, pure real life like again. Um, I don't teach calculus one and calculus two in the normal way, right? But yes, I'm happy that you guys are liking it. Those of you who are not following fully, don't worry about it. I'm going to send, oh crap. Um, yeah, the YouTube. I'm going to send it, I'm going to send a link to the YouTube code or the code for that ass. Um, yeah, man, sir, because, you know, for five minutes of our next, we're next class because, you know, our teacher really beat me, you know. See me, so, um, all right, let me just see if I can. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, do me a favor. Uh, I, I, Ashanti, are you still in class? Yes, sir. All right, do me a favor. Do you have the link for the YouTube um channel? Yeah, I even followed you. Okay, great job. Oh, that's another thing you need to follow. Not for the likes. Follow so when I post something, you can see that it's posted. Do me a favor, Ashanti. Can you just mm -hmm. drop the link to the YouTube in the chat now for me, please, so that I can... Just go through and um and start watching some some videos for me, please. All right, go ahead. All right, please and thanks. So I'm gonna do it. Let me know so I can do WhatsApp group. Ashanti, are you in the WhatsApp group now? No. All right. Um. So can you just add add yourself to the WhatsApp group because I have to go over to another class. So, no, no, seven minutes, six minutes past. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going over to the other class now. So if you could put it in the WhatsApp group for me, Ashanti. Oh, but you're not in the group yet. Um, yeah, she can get the link or or some. She can drop her number and, and she can be added. You know, Ashanta, we're... drop drop your number, Ashanta, so that they can add it to the group. And then when they get the link, um, uh, there's the link, Ashanta. The corner just posted it in the chat, so you can just add to the WhatsApp group. Same thing. Right, and then you can just drop the drop the YouTube something for me, Ashanta, please. All right. Let me know. Let me know, Ashanti, if you get the link first so that I can end the class because I need to go over to another class now. So do you. I have it. All right. Thank you. All the best, guys. We talk. All right. Thank you. Sir. All right, sir. Yeah, man, no problem. Thank you. 